Please God make this work. Please God make this work. I hope it's working. La la la. My it is wonky. Let's have a look. I hope it's working. I'm sorry if it's not. Let's have a look. Come pop up. Are you gonna pop up? This is just me all over. I need I I need some sort of hello everyone. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes, right. Oh god, that's gonna take some energy out of me. Thank the Lord. Right. Hi. I've got a delay on mine. I think I'm gonna have to invest into some sort of streaming technology. So well, yeah, I, this is exactly what I did. Yes, this is exactly what I did. My room is a mess. I don't feel well. Um, though I seem very energetic, I'm probably on a paracetamol high or something from, you know, obviously responsibly and all that jazz. Um, hello, Melody. Oh, that was chaotic. So thank you for coming back. As you may have known, if you were in part one of the chaotic stream before, um, I have been struck, I have been smited by the might, mighty Rona. Um, so far, I've just got a cold. I had some aches and pains yesterday. Um, I've got a very runny nose. Now it's blocked, um, so maybe not so runny now. And um, literally five or ten minutes before I came on, my chest went really tight. I've, I, I do take inhalers, so I've had my steroid for the day. No, not gin. This is a classic. This is from Lidl. It is the Mexican Lime and Elderflower Sparkling Fruit Crush. It's 59 pence. It is like so good. They have a Morello cherry and a tropical orange one, and they are so good. And I'm just trying to get some hydration in here. So if you're next to a Lidl, give it a go. It's really good. It is good with gin. Um, but I'm just having that to drink because um, I need I need something. But yeah, um, I feel weird. Like I feel very foggy in my head. I'm opening, by the way, the glossy box. I thought because because I'm feeling so like ugh at the moment. Like I don't feel like I want to um, record videos and then edit them because I'm just like so tired and I. <laughs> um, so I thought I'd do a live, then that way, okay, we could still see everything, we can, have, we can hang out and we can chat and stuff. Obviously I do have the, I don't know why I keep doing this, like I'm Gordon Ramsay, like who am I? Um, but I do have obviously the Fresh and Flowers box coming. Uh, this is this month's glossy box. I do have last month's glossy box somewhere. This glossy box here, my friend Jo gave me this because she used to get glossy box and she's cancelled it and she was like, I'm going to give you one to open up. Um, it was for eight marches and she was like, you can compare the difference. And then, yeah, I've just burped, sorry. And then, oh my God, I can't stop burping. And then loads of stuff happened and I never... I never got round to um, opening it, so I need to give this back to Jo um, because it doesn't make sense now. But I'm going to open up this month's glossy box um, because really right now, <laughs> God, I'm so tired. <laughs> I can't be, it's the, I love recording, I love opening stuff, but it's the editing that sucks out of me. Um, yes, I have my sense of smell and I have my sense of taste, which is great. Um, so this, lime and elderflower things taste really good um i had what did i have for my dinner last night i had um some pulled pork i could still taste it all it, that was by my chest because i am asthmatic the sense of taste and smell um was really scary for me because <laughs> obviously I, I i love food and obviously i love fragrances so to, to lose my sense of smell would be quite scary um so fingers crossed it it doesn't go away or doesn't change too much um does cherry lip scrub taste like the lip mask from valentine's day range um no i think it's slightly different because cherry lip scrub to me tastes like um magic flyers red licorice look it up magic flyers red licorice it's a red licorice tube with like sherbet sugar crystals inside with like a white icing 
stopper and it tastes like that or Vimto. And I found that the lip mask was a different type of cherry. I don't know. Let, let's let's see what other people think about that. Oh, cute. Why? Every oh, okay. So I've just opened up here and it has a little mirror inside. Well, oh, a bit of ASMR there. Can anyone see? Ooh. Oh, there we go. Bit of ASMR. Hi, oh, this is cute. And it says, perfectly imperfect. And it says, you are beautiful. And then it's got all different languages saying that. I'm not even going to try and attempt to butcher those languages. Um, oh, thanks, Amy. I'm glad that everybody um can, uh, can got a pop-up for this. To be fair, it was very impromptu. Uh, we've got some stickers. So... We got some stickers from the Lush Kitchen box, which is behind me. My camera's on top of it. So this is the month of stickers. And these are really nice stickers. Obviously, it's all about, like, self-love and caring about yourself. So that's sweet. I like that there. I'm going to put the little card at the end. And we're going to open up. I'm just going to look inside of it. There it goes. Oh, this is, feels quite full. So the first thing we've got is also shout out anything. If you've got any questions, we've got the Grace and Stella. Everything is better in pink collagen boosting eye mask. So that's it there. Um, it says on cleanse and makeup free skin, carefully place eye mask under eye area. Let the mask work. It's brightening, depuffing, and hydrating magic for 15 to 20 minutes. Discard the mask and massage remaining essence under the eyes. No need to rinse. These look juicy. These look so, I don't know how well you can see like the juiciness. Um, I've had eye masks, no, it's lip masks, because the lip masks I had from, like, the Steve Laurent box, um, they, they, they're not wet, so you don't feel like you get anything, they look juicy, though, so they look like they're actually going to do something. Then we've got the cough, Exfoliating Coffee Scrub by Mine Tan Body Skin, Exfoliating Scrub for Buttery Smooth Soft Skin, so I think that's probably going to be a bit of a dupe for the Frank Body. Yeah, Funfetti Lip Scrub is the best lip scrub there is right now. Um, and it says, um, an exfoliate for softer, smoother, more luminous skin, gently smooth away imperfections and improve the overall appearance of your skin over time by adding this coffee scrub to your regular shower routine. And it just tells you how to use it. Open the pack, scrub it with love, then rinse away. I find this is going to be the same style of packaging as the frank one and i don't love this style of packaging for these coffee scrubs because it has like a zip lock and it never locks and then it goes all like crunchy inside so i'm sorry that that lime is really really fizzy um it's going to be more than likely a chance that i will just use this all up in one go and please be aware that when you use coffee scrubs and i'm going to assume it's going to be the same but a lot of assume in here that when you use them, they kind of leave like a, a tint on the skin until you wash it off. Um, so just make sure that you, you then use some soap to wash it off. Otherwise, you might end up a little bit oompa loompa. Uh, that'll go there. Right, what we got? We've got, I don't want one of these. This is the Daily Concepts Individuals Who Think in the Shower. Oh, it's a, it's a daily round scrubber. I thought it was, I don't, I, I mean, I don't want one of these. Um, but I thought it was for your, well, I might use it for my brush, but it's obviously for your body. I, I bet you they say this is about nine pounds or something. No, I, well, I mean, it feels nice. Just rubbing it. Smells a bit plasticky, obviously. You have the SML. Um, I don't really care for things like this, but you know, hey, it might be quite good if I put a bit of soap on it. Um, oh, my throat feels a bit scratchy. Oh, is this it? We've got the Balance Me BHA Exfoliating Concentrate. Um, so it's got salicylic acid, which is quite good because I've had a massive breakout. Uh, it's a concentrate that's a leave on chemical exfoliant to help gently remove dead skin scalp. Dead skin dead skin cells, reduce blemishes, target enlarged pores, and improve hydration to reveal softer, brighter, and more youthful skin. Apply to a beauty pad, gently wipe over cleanse skin, uh, cleanse dry skin, avoiding the delicate eye area. Hmm, I'm sure we'll see if we can smell something. 
oh it smells very orangey and it is um see how well you oh it is runny it's almost like a toner okay well i might put some on my forehead it's very orangey smelling yeah i've i've kind of just been um lying on the settee um resting for like the last couple of days and it's it's so boring when you know you you can't go anywhere I mean technically I am I've got I've had three jobs technically I am allowed out but I just I, I will not go out for obvious reasons um and it just sucks knowing that you can't go anywhere when you when you want to do stuff um but I have been getting quite tired like yesterday all of a sudden all energy left my body and I did, and I had a three hour nap so um whilst being really bored having a little nap in between right and last thing um we've got the wear blushing uh creamy blush stick sophia and M mabel i think we've had stuff from them before and it was like quite expensive for what it is but it's quite cute um and it is like a it looks like a glowy peach color which i'm not gonna lie looks Oh, that is, that is a lot. Doesn't look that, um, doesn't look that kind of dark on the, ca on, on the camera. God, put my teeth back in. It is buildable. Should I blend it in? I mean, I've put far too much on. I mean, I don't think anybody would put that much blush on. I'll blend it out on my hand. Yeah, I mean, and actually, when you blend it out, oh, actually... When you blend it out, it's actually quite nice. I need a makeup wipe. I need a makeup wipe. So yeah, that is everything in the box. Do you know, I mean, because I haven't posted uh, last month's box, but spoiler, um, I'm more than likely going to cancel Glossy Box. I don't, I think for £11.75 a month, like, I think it's nice, nice little treat, don't get me wrong. Um... But right now, I think I'd rather save the, the £12 and use it for something else. I don't know if anybody else is feeling like that. Um, you know, I might as well just buy a, a, a lipstick that I really like and I'm looking forward to. Um, which, on a slight note, um, I saw this morning that Pat McGrath is on TK Maxx. So all the Pat McGrath um, Bridgerton collection from the first round of Bridgerton stuff is on TK Maxx. She's got some lipsticks on there. What else was there? There was some other like really amazing stuff on TK Maxx. If you if you want to try Pat McGrath but cheap, go for it. Um, yeah. So Amy, I, we next next time your look fantastic box comes, or if you if you've done one, let me know because I, I want to watch it because I want to see if it's good. Well, do you know what it is? Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna. Did anybody see the Bath Big Love? Back, uh, bath bake love um thingy on Instagram. I I don't know if they've closed down. They posted something on their Instagram stories, and it, it was like all good things must come to an end. Yada yada yada. And they've not posted anything since the um the second of second of of March. Um, so I don't know if. If she's she's moved on to something else, maybe I should message her. Should I message her and ask her because her stuff is amazing? I'm gonna message her now. Should I, should I message her? I'm I'll, I'll, I'll message her. Yeah. Um, hey. Uh, could I? Uh, hey, I saw your story. Um, are you closing down? Sad face. I've, I've messaged her we'll see what happens i i um yeah she posted a story like like i say like kind of like all oh, good things must come to an end um but i just didn't know if, if she meant like some rangers were going and then so i mean that sounded really dramatic there when i just said are you closing down it was just I, it was just a bit ambiguous i mean great if she wants to move on and do other things that makes her happy um but yeah i've sent her a message um 
So what I, I mean, obviously I've unboxed Glossy Box. Oh, I'll tell you what everything is worth. Let's hear some out, outrageous pricing um, because I'd be very interested to know what everything is. So excuse me, I'm just getting my, my burner phone, as my friends like to call it, um, to see what the pricing is. This is my old phone. Um, and see what the prices is of everything. And then I wanted to get some opinions of everyone. I just hope everyone's doing really well. Um, and, you know, I just thought we could have a nice little chat. Right, let's have a look. I'm just scanning through. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Right, okay, so this BHA is a deluxe mini. Can you see it? And this is worth £10. Is someone, can someone add up for me? Because I've got all my phones on the go. So this is worth £10. <laughs> where do they get these prices so this coffee scrub right oh can i just point out that this full size would be 26 pounds at 180 mils and it's just 30 mils it's not 30 mils now because i've dribbled it everywhere this here is a 30 gram deluxe mini with 9.95 full size is 200 grams worth 12.95 now we know that frank is very expensive um it's around that price mark, but I've not heard of this brand. This looks, and I'm not trying to be shady, but this looks like something that you would get at Home Bargains for one ninety nine. So, if I find some Home Bargains or TK Maxx or B and M Bargains, I would be posting on my story, being look, how can they say it's nine ninety five? And um, what else we got? We've got this thing. Oh my God! I said that I thought this was going to be nine pounds. Do you, this, I want, guess right now, please, please guess how much you think this is worth by Daily Concepts. Please, 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 <laughs> please guess. Because <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. I want to see the comments. What would you pay for this silicone? Right. Paulina says five. Right. This, yeah, <laughs> this is, it's full size, right? It's supposed to be 16 pounds. I mean, in what world is silicone supposed to be 16 pounds? I mean, it feels nice, like, but this is again, this is like 99 pence home bargains. 16 pounds, no. And then we've got the, so Fear and Mabel Queen Blush Stick. Uh, this is obviously full size. And this is £13. If this, if this was like a more well-known brand, I could imagine someone charging £13. But this kind of reminds me of like Barry M, and I love Barry M, right? But this is like something that you would find in Superdrug, MUA, um, Makeup Revolution. This is no more than £5. And it's again £13. Um, too much is where I find out. Oh yeah, and then the eye patches. This is the most realistic thing in the entire, entire uh, pack. <laughs> I need to put the crap pipe down. Yeah, these are three pounds, which makes sense. This is three pounds. I can imagine paying that. And this is how I feel like, because obviously I edit these videos, and you do see my my actual reaction. Um, minus the swearies. Um, <laughs> but. I unbox these videos and again, 11.75 and you've got, you know, what have we got here? Am I missing something? Like five items, right? That's fine. It's like a monthly treat, whatever, okay? Just make it what it is. If the box is, you know, it's 11.75 and you get five items for 20 pounds, yeah, the return isn't there, right? Yeah, you're thinking, well, I'm only getting 10 pounds worth of value, but... At least it's realistic. Like when they, the other month when they had that shower foam, right? And it was like 3 dollars Or when they had that mango body lotion that was 3 dollars Like these are realistic prices. I, I mean, I, and, I, and I feel bad because obviously companies can charge whatever they want that they think that their, their products are worth. But like £16? In what world? Like... I don't get it. Total price fifty one ninety five. 
hang on, one, two, ah, three, four, five, yeah, five things I got. I think it depends because sometimes, yeah, it's. I'm sure it's like five items. I think sometimes you might get six if they put in like a little chalky bar, you know, like it's like that's that's most of the times I think you would get like six things. I I don't I feel bad like saying like oh it's it's rubbish, like the stuff's canny like you know like got a little like a little treatment got a little blush I got like a little. Thing, right I mean I don't want this but you know it's it's kind of but it's like why are you 9.95 I got like a 400 gram coffee scrub from JTF for 4.99 did I like it no but was it 4.99 yes 9.95 how no yeah I mean I think obviously when I've joined glossy box I've probably missed the boat for when they were like really like popular I really want excuse me I would really like to try Ipsy and I know a lot of people are currently slagging off Ipsy and BoxyCharm but we don't have that option and I think that um our North American friends forget how amazing like Glossy Box not Glossy Box BoxyCharm and Ipsy is in comparison to like our Glossy Box and I would love to try and I don't know I'm gonna just Put the feelers out there see what anyone else thinks but i see a lot of british influencers that sound like influenza <laughs> see a lot of british, british very high profile british influencers um on instagram tiktok wherever and they're promoting boxy charm and they're based in the uk but boxy charm doesn't ship to the uk it only ships to canada and north america and maybe some surrounding islands so how is that fair? And I and in one hand, I get it because a lot of these people, these influencers have big followings that span the world, but then, and the US and things like that. But then how is that fair? Like, if uh, if, if if you're UK and then we can't get it, I just think it's cack. Like, I was really excited when I saw this one massive influencer holding the, the box of chunks. I was like, oh my God, yes, we're going to get it. Went on, no. Or when I saw another influencer uh, say the price in euros, and I was like, "Oh my god, it's going to ship over here!" No, so yeah, I'm good. Um, Father's Day I think is going to be this Thursday. The orangutans, which smell like Lord of Mercy rule, all the money minus the VAT, so all the profits go to um, SOS Sumatra. They come out on Monday. They are limited edition. Each store has a very limited allocation. For example, I think um, my store only got like 50. So uh, they're only four pounds, but but grab them. They're really, really cute. Um, and I, I'm sure Father's Day comes out on Thursday, which means I'm going to miss it because I'm at home. Um, but I, I'm, I'm, I had um, a really hot, steamy shower with um, my Avo shower um, from last year's anniversary box. So you'll have to all tell me what Glitch is like because I'm really looking forward to it. Um, and this is something that I'm dying for because if it is exactly the same it is it i've seen the train notes it does say i will bath um i'm really gonna buy a big bottle and maybe uh, maybe another another one if, if it is bang on because it's my favorite shower gel it's like hands are my favorite shower gel the mustache soap is a uh, damp squib scented or if anybody got the squid games shower jelly that recently came out it's the same smell as that so really really earthy um, and just like a lovely smell. Um, so very, very excited for that as well. Um, what else is there? Obviously you've got the dirty bath bomb. You've got the little num dad number one trophy, which I can't, I think that's dirty set of two. Um, oh, look at me, you can see me like racking through my brains. You've got this like kind of like the eye mask, um, which is like, Kind of blue. It reminds me of a kids superhero show, like a, like a really young toddler's recent kids super show. So if, if anybody sees that mask and they know what it is, let me know what it is. But yeah, so that is everything. I'm going to put that over here, put everything out for the recycle bin. Um, but I am really excited for Glitch, really, really excited for Glitch. 
What shower gels have I used up? So right now in my shower, I have got that big bottle of Sleepy, uh, Glog and the Intergalactic. And the Glog and the Intergalactic and Sleepy are about that much each. So they're all going to finish roughly at the same time. I'm kind of really enjoying Glog. I had a the Poo Sticks bath bomb yesterday with some Glog. That is a beautiful bath bomb. It's lovely and oily, but the, uh, the cinnamon sticks, there's quite a lot of them. And I think it had bits of ginger in it as well. Um, but it was a very nice spice bath. Um, let's have a look. I'm just having a little read. Uh, <laughs> I like the concept of the iPads. I think they're lovely and cooling. They're just, a, for me, they're just the tiniest bit too thick. They just feel a little bit heavy on my eyes. So I do put them on, but I don't keep them on as long as possible because they feel like a little bit too heavy. Like I like the idea of a little bit of weight pressing down to really like de-stress and calm. But sometimes I just think, oh, they're a little bit, just a little bit too heavy. But I do think they're really fun. Um, and I like, I love the smell. I love the smell of them all when they all come out. Like, I love the smells. I don't think there's one that I've smelt and I've not been like, ooh, or anything. I really do enjoy the smell of them all. Um, but I like how cool they are. But I just think at the moment, I, I like I like the ones that go over both sets of eyes, over the individual ones more, because I feel like it takes a lot of the weight off each eye because it's, it's like distributed on your temples. And on the bridge of your nose as well so it's not just does that do you know what i mean oh god i would die for some peanut m ms did that did that make sense so what i've got here but i think i might type up on my laptop is a notebook um and what i thought on a slight slightly different note was um i wanted some people's opinions um i don't even know what I, what is this? Oh my god, I've got stuff in here from when I did when I did makeup. When I did my makeup course. But um I wanted to oh, actually oh no this isn't from when I did makeup, this is from when I did my induction at work. <laughs> That's cute. I've got so, oh and then there's some makeup stuff in there as well. So it was fine. Um I wanted to yeah get throw some ideas about things I wanna to, wanna to do on the channel. Um, but at the moment, because I am not well, would you guys, because there's not many up, <laughs> spill the tea? Oh, it's just about, um, I don't even know, I've got things about, in my makeup one, <sighs> I love that, Egyptian, practice makeup, Renaissance, practice makeup, 18th century, practice makeup, Elizabethan, hair, practice makeup. Maybe I need to practice the makeup. Um, would you be interested in like the next few videos that I put up to be lives of me opening my boxes, maybe doing some makeup and things like that, just so I'm still connected to you guys um, and you're not waiting for videos to come up just because I feel so hot um, and tired um, and I record stuff and then I'm like, then I get all green and I'm tired. So I just sort of, yeah, practice makeup. What else have I got? Um, I've got... Pro professional practice. Speaking to clients. Using the internet. Listening to client. Contracts. Preparing for different client types. Professionalism. That's been underlined. Organised. Efficient working. Avoid waste. Personal hygiene. Working hygienically, being efficient, continuity, teamwork, up, keep your skills up to date, keep abreast of fashion, look at me, keep abreast, competent, trustworthy, oh my god, what smell are you saying? Oh, you like my lives, that's brilliant, right, okay, so what I'll do is, obviously, I've got my Fresh and Flowers box, so how does this sound? Um... We all do, I'll unbox, if anybody's got the, if anybody gets fresh and flowers, um, you can open your box with me when it comes. Um, I'll make an announcement when it comes so then we know and it'll be on that night. Um, and we can do like a get unready with me type thing. So like get ready for bed or just get ready to chill type of a thing depending on what time zone you're in. Um, and that way we can kind of use the products and talk about it. And, <laughs> Um, because I'd, I'd like I, I want to still I want to like feel like connected and stuff, and I don't want to feel like because obviously 
me, last year and this year, I was having a wobbly in both both this time period. So what I wanted to think of, like, what I wanted to ask was, like, what is, the like, the best time for everyone? Because I'm happy to do it, like, dinner time, like, 6 p.m. Because I feel like most people, obviously, God bless retailers, um, but, like, most people are, like, home. They've had the tea type of thing. Or I could do it later on, like, 9 o'clock, because then that way it would be, like, an evening type of thing. I don't know. But I thought in that way we could all use the stuff together, you know, have a chill, have a chat that type of a thing um I, I don't really have um let's have a look I don't really have like anything professional stream 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 labs where it is just me and my laptop um right now I'm, I'm laughing at the delay but yeah if you've got anything that you want to see me do um obviously I've got to do the um I'm gonna I'm gonna make a list I've got to turn turn my jellies into gels now i'm going to preface this literally and i'll preface this on the video is like if you turn your shower gels into shower jelly if you turn your shower jellies into shower gels it obviously changes the composition and like the the um the chemistry of the ingredients so it might not last that long so hey that's good i'm only in the office twice oh you're only in the office twice a month you jammy bugger jammy bugger Yeah, so I, I'll always re repost the live, definitely, um, for people to catch up. Um, so yeah, I mean, I've I've got three lights on me now, and the oh, actually, this light is not. So I'm going to turn my jellies into gels. Um, one of my friends said, um, uh, bath bombs as horoscopes. <laughs> um, ooh, that's Alex coming out of the shower. The door sticking me. So if anybody likes horoscopes, and um. And kind of like um, matching the horoscopes with um, bath bombs. That'd be quite fun. Um, I'm going to write that down. Because me and Hannah were doing that together. And then I think we wrote on a piece of paper and we lost it all. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think that's quite fair. Um, oh my God. God, I'm like shattered. Because ideally what I wanted to do, I'm so glad that you guys are all um, listening to me now, or four of you, thank you, um, was what I, <laughs> this is like me just having a, a, a nice little chat with you all, uh, was what I really wanted to do was I wanted to have that one live stream a week. Because I started doing, I started doing like live streams last year, um, but I wanted to make it like a thing that we had like a nice little chitty chatty live stream. There's no real structure in it. Anything go anything goes. It could be makeup, could be, you know, just just chatting. Um, but with a bit more it, it, although it's flexible, no structure, the structure would be the same day and the same time. Um but yeah. Uh, what's everyone doing today? Oh, God, my nose. Have a little look here and see if anybody's sent me any, any videos. Meg, Sarah Meg has not replied to me yet. Ooh, movie night. What are you watching tonight? What are we watching? Ooh, are you gonna make slushies with the Southern Comfort? Has anybody had, um, obviously for anyone over the age of 18 or 21, if you're in a different country, um, Southern Comfort, Amaretto and Lime, just all neat together, like a e equal measures, really good. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. Um, I smelt, Lauren, you've just reminded me, I smelt this happy birthday bubble bar. And I, I don't get creamy candy. Um, ASMR, yeah, we could do some ASMR. I've got, I think again, I might, I, <laughs> I don't wanna sh well, show you how, 
rock do you get rock because rock is creamy candy but i don't i don't get rock star from this either but then it could be the covid it smell it does smell super nostalgic someone said that it's his own scent family and that it's supposed to smell like birthday cake icing Really? Ah. Oh. Maybe um, maybe maybe it's the um Oh yeah. Like my nose is blocked, so I'm just gonna Yeah, maybe it is Rockstar. I mean it I mean you obviously it is Rockstar, but like I think it's just my bunged up nose. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that was a weird noise. Um, do you know, I I miss the old truckles of soap and cutting it into different chunk sizes. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. <sighs> yeah, I miss that. Could Alex be any more noisy with the creaky doors? Um, I need to do some more bath bomb cocktails. By the way, um, if you haven't seen it already, Melody has done another Lush tag. So if any of you guys are on YouTube, um, go check out her ch channel. Hi, Michael. Oh, hi, Michael. Um, go check out Melody's channel and go check out her latest Lush tag. I do need to do that. So I'm going to uh, do that. Um, oh God, sorry, like my, I'm getting weak. Um, but yeah, definitely go check out um Melody's Lush Tag. I'm gonna write that down, Melody. I'll tag you in that because I uh, forgot to do that. Oh God, I do miss, I do miss Rockstar. That was that was a good that was a good soap. I'm I'm li I'm. A summer pumper. I don't know if anybody would like to see me pumping. I'm only joking. Summer pumper. That I think that'd be quite good. Yeah. I'm going to write seasonal, seasonal bids. Um, now, would a seasonal pumper be just like, um, like skincare? Oh, who is this ringing me? One second. Oh, one second. I am definitely going to have to go. I'll be right back. I apologise. I've got a delivery. Hey, oh, I'm so sorry. Right, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to let me go because like, I've just got a delivery come. Well, one second, one second. Oh no, sorry. I'll be right back. Uh, and this is what I mean. <sighs> Some great, <laughs> great ending here. It wouldn't be me without, of course, me buggering everything right up. Sorry, guys. Be right back.